It is Friday, March 26th, 2021, and this is Cafe Devo. It is a big Friday here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. For those who are students and staff and teachers in our Durand area schools, it's the first day of spring break. It's also a birthday. We want to wish happy birthdays to Nancy Grumley and Larry Schumann. But for our purposes this morning on Cafe Devo, this is the 33rd day of Lent. And so coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, I'm Pastor Steve Wood. Bugsy is hanging out in the corner. The coffee is on, and I hope your day is going well. Let's begin our devotional reading this morning from the book of Mark, chapter 14, beginning with verse 43. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Jesus, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you, teaching in the temple courts, and you did not arrest me, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then everyone deserted him and fled. A young man wearing nothing nothing but a linen garment was following Jesus. And when they seized him, he fled naked, leaving the garment behind. When you and I choose to sacrifice during Lent or any other time, we must always be careful not to become self-righteous. When we sacrifice, it is easy to feel pretty good about ourselves and that that is all right to the point of encouragement. But we must never think we have earned some good graces with God. This compromises the sacrifice and prevents us from giving God the sacrifice he really wants. As Paul wrote in Romans 12, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. No matter what, we give up for Lent, it falls far short of the sacrifice God desires. What God really wants is you. And so what would it take for you to bring a broken and contrite heart to God as sacrifice today? Thank you, O Lord, for another day. We are grateful for life, for your love, for your guidance and your presence. Thank you for this Friday. Guide us, Lord. Enter into this day with us. We invite you with our whole heart. Guard our minds. Watch over our words and guide our steps, we pray. And bless us so that we can be a blessing. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me, my friends, on this Friday edition of Cafe Devo. Wishing you a great weekend. This is Pastor Steve Wood, and I'll see you tomorrow.